Hello everyone, pleasant Sunday to you. Uh, today I am going to be just coming with a quick tip. Um, we're going to be working with guide layers. Hopefully this should only be a couple minutes long. There's not much to discuss, uh, nothing to do with any of my series of tutorials. This is more just a quick tip uh, because I'm just really so busy right now but I still want to put out some content so I might um, just do a couple quick tips every now and again for the next few weeks uh, just because I don't have the time to do for like half hour tutorials and stuff so um, today I'm, go I'm going to be teaching you about guide layers so I'm going to make a comp here and um, guide layers are layers that basically do not render so let me show you a couple ways you can use guide layers so for example if you have a color palette and here I'm just making random solids and I could probably make this easier for myself by just making a solid 100 by 100 so uh, let's say you have a specific color palette and you have to keep grabbing um, colors like you have brand colors to work with or something similar and uh, let's just say for instance it's this really weird combination of colors and so uh, you know every time you come to make a solid you're like oh I need to grab that exact red so you could just color pick that right there and say okay so then you'd have uh, your solid or whatever or when you come to like doing color correction you want to use specific colors but uh, the problem with these layers is, is when you render you don't want to have to keep going in and you know turning them all off so that when you come to render they're not there uh, you just want them for convenience uh, another idea would be like uh, recently I worked on a job uh, let me do that again, make it comp size. Um, working on a job and uh, the the screen itself uh, that w the footage was going to be matted in was actually would probably be closer to a rounded rectangle. Um, it was, let's just say the screen was an odd shape. So I had to bear in mind, I had a safety area and I knew my footage would always be within this. So I had this and I had it like at a low opacity. So I knew I had to keep my footage within that and um, you know let's say I had these as well and we still want these as part of the frame and what I've done there is because uh, this one was a weird shape compared to the other two it's not hidden but let's just say um, that these are the layers so you can see the use in these layers you know I have these two for color and I have the back one to say where my footage will sit in but when we come to render we don't want to render any of this and we don't have to keep going back into there and turning them on so what you can do is just select them and uh, right click and make them guide layers so uh, what this means is that when you come to render basically these will not show and if I was to set up a render right now I'll show you why um, by default your render settings are best settings and if you look here we have guide layers you have all off so what this means is that every time you set up a render all the guide layers are off uh, another useful tip to do with this is that if you make a new composition that's one um, level above so if I make a new comp out of this here you'll notice that the guide layers don't show up so say you did have then footage in here uh, you can still work within this comp, have these layers, and then if you want to see how it looks, just go to um, a comp above, basically, and you, those layers will not show up, uh, which is also really useful. So you could see your final output, so you don't have to turn them off, or you don't have to like um, hide them just to see what your final output is going to look like. You know it's going to look like this. Um, let, let me just put a regular layer in here just to uh, prove that point before I end this video so let's say we had like our regular footage in there and we come into here we can still see the red circle but the guide layers will always be hidden in the layer above and also when you come to render so that's it um, short one only four minutes but uh, definitely add guide layers to your workflow and um, they can be useful in keeping colors organized or um, just having general indicators as to screen space and stuff that you will not come to render and I'm sure you can think of other reasons to use them as well. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't longer or more detailed but I'm sure I'll try and get to some of those when I have a bit more free time. So uh, thanks for watching as ever and I'll see you next time.